Yo, what up, Utah? I'm Ken Cephale, and you're watching stackedbmx.com social media and YouTube channel. Today, we're going to do an explain and review on the Tom Dugan Signature Odyssey Grandstand Alloy Pedals. So, like always, if you're watching this on one of our other social medias and you want to enter our YouTube channel, head over to youtube.com forward slash stackedbmx. Um, so that you could subscribe to this channel, like this video, turn on your notification bells, and then uh, leave us a comment to enter. Uh, but hang tight, because later on in the video, uh, we're going to tell you all the rules and you know, I mean, stuff that you're going to win. So um, yeah, let's get to it. Let's talk about these Tom Dugan um, Odyssey V2 Grandstand pedals. So uh, yeah, these are um, basically designed by Tom Dugan, if you don't know who Tom Dugan is. He's a wild uh, maniac from uh, Texas, and uh, he always goes big and, and uh, yeah, I mean, stands out from a lot of the other people. Um, so this, this pedal is actually the V2, which is a version 2 of the Grandstand pedal. And um, basically, they changed a few things on it, and um, yeah, I mean, just to make it a little bit heavier duty. So, um, yeah, let's kind of talk about it. So first thing off the, the looks of this pedal, what I noticed is that, you know, I mean, obviously it's alloy. Uh, but the other thing is that it's got um, these pins in here and they're actually black. I've seen a lot of other pedals and they have actual um, silver ones or anything like that, but I think they look dope being all black. Um, people that like to have their bike all murdered out um, definitely um, definitely is something that they would be interested in. Um, so that's the first thing I noticed. The other thing I noticed is that um, it's got like this semi-gloss uh, powder coat job on it. So being powder coated, these things are going to... Yeah, I mean, last for a long time and not get, get scratched up very, very much. Um, the other thing I noticed is that it's got this really big Odyssey logo right here in the middle of the, the pedal. Um, another thing I noticed is that there's no actual pins in the center right here. So um, it helps a lot when you slip a pedal and you hit your shin. You're not going to actually gouge the center of your, your shin and thrash it up a lot. So definitely a shin friendly pedal right here. And um, yeah, I mean, I think laying them out like that, did a, they did a really good job of doing that. Um, I've seen some other pedals, and uh, they do a similar thing, and it works really, really well. Um, another thing I noticed is that these pins are removable. So there's an Allen bolt right here, and they go on all of, all of them, and they're all the same exact one. Um, but you can unthread them from the back side, which you can see right here, and you can actually remove them. Um, one thing that I did notice is that there's some pins that are right here that are kind of hidden. Um, those ones have actually an access hole, um, like this one, where you could go through there with the with the hex head tool and actually unthread that, and uh, you know it won't be difficult to to remove. So I think that's super super cool. Um, another thing that I noticed is that it slightly has a little bit different axle on it. Um, this one has a 17 millimeter, um, I would say a hex bolt right here. So you need a pedal wrench or a really thin. Um, yeah, I mean box end wrench or I mean an open end wrench to slide right on there to unthread it. Um, notice how this little nut is actually a little bit different than all the other ones. So I think that's that's pretty cool. Um, another thing is, is that they got a six millimeter um, hex uh, uh, board into right here. Can't think of what to say. Um, all this stuff comes on the top of my head, so it's, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to think of stuff. But <laughs> let's move on. So it's got a hex head bolt right here. Um, so you can put an Allen wrench in here if you don't have an actual wrench. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, but the coolest thing I think about this is that this is an unsealed pedal, but it's got a bushing uh, design. So there's plastic bushings inside of here, and there's a little actual um, axle nut in there. And that thing is uh, there to uh, tighten the pedal down and keep the pedal tight so that you don't have the side to side um, you know, I mean, flop or anything like that. And your bike doesn't sound like a rolling toolbox. So um, I think that's really cool. Another thing that's cool is, um, I pulled that one off, but uh, they do give you extra caps. So if you take them off and stuff like that, they do give you extra caps. So you get two extra caps, and plus the ones that come on the pedal to uh, help you stay fresh. So yeah, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it for the tech. Um, one other thing that I do notice on this, uh, this pedal that's, that helps you out with uh, keeping your pedals on, and um, you know, I mean, reason why you might want to buy it is these pedals are slightly concave. Um, look, it's kind of bowled in a little bit, 
not not drastically like I've seen on a lot of other ones, but it does dip down a little bit. Um, so it helps keep your pedal or your foot on the pedal um, right in the center, and you know, I mean definitely helps with grip and stuff like that. Um, another thing I notice is that there, I've seen some other pedals where they have a thin bar right here, and if you land on a pedal grind or something like that, usually it'll shear the pedal right off right here, and then you got to buy a new set. Um, these ones have a little support beam right here to protect um, these little cross beams so that if you do end up landing on a pedal, um, you don't actually break them and uh, need to buy a new set of pedals. Um, if you're wondering if these pedals are right for you, I would suggest these pedals um, an upgrade from any stock pedals. If you want something that's going to last, I would definitely think about doing the alloy pedal, uh, mainly because they last a lot longer than plastic pedals. Um, yes, they are a little bit more expensive, but if you don't like touching your bike and working on it, then I would suggest getting something like this. If you don't mind spending 15, 20 bucks every few months to buy a pair of plastic pedals, um, go that direction. But if you want something that's gonna last a long time, um, also if you're riding trails, um, riding during like wet season, stuff like that, um, you know I mean? I would definitely suggest something like this because um, they have the metal pins and your foot's gonna lock in there and actually stay on the pedal a lot longer than you know, I mean, a lot of the plastic pedals. Um, if you're riding street, um, I would recommend this pedal if you just don't want to work on your bike or if you, you do a lot of pedal grinds and stuff like that and you would like to take out some of these pins on the back side and actually make it smoother for you to grind and slide rather than having a pe plastic pedal where you don't know which side's which and it just keeps flopping over and then both sides are slippery. So this is a great way to take the pins out and then you have solid pins on the one side all the time so you could kind of flip your pedal to where you want to have it and then do like a pedal slide or whatever you're trying to do. Um, if you're riding park and stuff like that and you just want something that's going to hold up, that's going to be heavy duty that you won't have to switch out, I definitely recommend these for those as well. Um, but um, yeah, this is freestyle, so do what you like. If you like these pedals, you know, I mean, get them no matter what. Don't, don't uh, pay attention to me. Just uh, do what you want. But uh, yeah, that's it for these uh, Tom Dugan Signature Odyssey Grandstand V2 pedals in Alloy. So uh, yeah, good job to Odyssey and uh, Dugan out there for making some dope pedals. Um, these are one of the dopest alloy pedals that I've seen on the market. And uh, yeah, I think you guys probably agree as well. So if you're hanging tight to um, know all the rules and stuff like that on, for a contest on YouTube, um, with 2,500 subscribers, uh, subscribers were giving away a Stranger Park parts package with a pair of tires, a pair of grips, and a seat. All you got it, uh, and then at 5,000 subscribers, we're giving away a free bicycle retailed at 289.95. All you got to do is like this video, subscribe to our channel, turn on your notification bells, and then leave us a comment below letting us know what you like about this video, what you don't like about this video, um, other products you want us to do an explain a review on, um, some how tos you'd love us for for us to teach you about, um, pretty much anything that'll help us make our YouTube channel better for you guys. Uh, we want to hear your feedback, and um, yeah, if you're um, um, yeah, if you, you want to enter, just, just do that. If you're watching this on YouTube and you want to check out our social media, uh, check us out on, on Instagram at Stack BMX Shop, or you can check out me at Can't Stop LA. Or if you're on Facebook and you want to check us out there, check us out at facebook.com forward slash Stack BMX. But um, yeah, that's it for the explainer review on the Grandstand V2 pedals. We hope you guys uh, like this video. I hope to help you guys make a good buy. And uh, yeah, have a great day and we'll see you next time. Peace out.